Welcome back to Linear Algebra. In the last video, we talked about the null space. Today, we're going to talk about the column space. So if A is an M by N matrix and A is equal to the columns A1, A2, all the way up to AN, then the column space of A is just equal to the span of all the vectors in A. So we could also write this as the set of B such that B is equal to AX for some x in Rn. So this is another way we can look at the column space. It is basically the span. So we have a theorem here that if A is m by n, then the column space of A is a subspace of Rm. And we know this is true because we've already done exercises in the subspace video that shows that the span of some vectors is a subspace. So the column space, which is A1 all the way up to an is going to be a subspace of rm. Okay, so given that, we can do some application questions. So we have to find a matrix A such that w is equal to the column space of A. So we have w here, and it's equal to a set of matrices. So negative a plus 2b, a minus 2b, 3a minus 6b for all a, b, and the real numbers. So we need to find a matrix A that produces the span. So W is actually equal to the span of some matrix A. So we can rewrite W and we can factor out the A and the B and we can separate them into two vectors. So we can factor out an A and we're going to get negative 1, 1, 3. And we're going to add B times a vector, which is going to be 2, negative 2, 6. And this will be for all a and b in the real numbers. So now what we have here is we have a times a vector. So this is like s times v1, s1 times v1. And we have b. This is like s2 times v2. So we can see this is a linear combination here. So this is just the span of the matrix A containing this B1 and this B2. So we can set our matrix A equal to V1, V2. So it is going to look like negative 1, 1, 3 to negative 2, 6. So if we take the span of this, we're just asking for all linear combinations of the first column and the second column which is exactly what we get in this second equality here, which is of course equivalent to the first equality. So this is our A. And don't worry, we'll do another practice question after the next slide. Okay, so what happens if AX equals B has a solution for every B in RM? So this means that no matter what B you take, you can get A1 times, uh, b1 plus a2 times v2 all the way up to an times vn. So if this is the case, then the span is going to be all of rm. So if the span is all of rm, then this means that the column space is going to equal rm. So if AX equals B has a solution for every B in RM, then the column space is going to equal RM because it spans all of RM. Okay, so let's do one more practice question before we finish this. So again, we wanna find A, so the column space of A is equal to W, and then we have a more theoretical question here. So if the column space of A is a subspace of RK, what is K? So what is the dimension that column space of A is a subspace of. Okay, so let's continue on like we did in the first question here. So we're going to split this into a series of constants and vectors. So we have B, C, and D here. So we're going to be able to factor out a B. We're going to be able to factor out a C. And we're going to be able to factor out a D. And of course, this is where B, C, and D are going to be real numbers. Okay, so B. 
Uh, in the first row, we have b minus c, then we have 2b plus c plus d, 5c minus 4d, and d. So there's 1b in the first row, 2b's in the second row. They don't appear in the third and fourth. C's, we have negative 1 in the first, 1 in the second, 5 in the third, and 0 in the fourth. And for d's, we have 0 in the first row, 1 in the second row, negative 4 in the third, and 1 in the fourth row. So now we have our linear combination here. So we can take the vectors we have, and we can put them into the matrix A. So we can say that A consists of three vectors here. So it's going to be 1, 2, 0, 0, negative 1, 1, 5, 0, and 0, 1, negative 4, 1. So this matrix A, the span of A is going to equal the column space of A which is equal to w in this case. So here's the question. If column space of A is a subspace of RK, what is K? So, of course, you remember that if the matrix is M by N, so if it's M by N, then the column space is going to be a subspace of RM. So, what is Rm here? So this matrix A is a four by three matrix. Therefore A, or a column space of A, is going to be a subspace of R4. So on a related note here, what about null space of A? Well, null space of A is, of course, going to be a subset or a subspace of R to the N and this is a four by three. So the null space of A is going to be a subspace of R3. And we can tell because we're going to have three vectors. So we have X1, X2, and X3. So when we take the null space, we are going to get vectors in R3. Okay, so that was the column space. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them the best that I can.